You ever wonder what causes all these unsightly dark colored streaks or out here all that there? Well that there's like a molding mildew, it's not a big deal. These, it sounds a little crazy. Gliocapsa magma. It sounds bad, but it's just a blue-green algae. It gets up here because of spores that are in the air, finds its way onto your roof, and the conditions are right. Typically a south-facing side, somewhere it doesn't have direct sunlight. The conditions are right, you get moisture, and it's feasting on the limestone in the shingles, and it makes these really dark, dirty discolorations to your roof. You might be asking, so what do I do to get rid of it? Good question. I can tell you what not to do. Do not use a pressure washer. Do not be a Tim Allen guy, kind of guy and go ah, ah, and go get your pressure washer because you will destroy your shingles. You do not want to shoot high pressure water right at your roof. You'll tear the granules off, void the warranty, do damage, and you will be buying a new roof prematurely. Don't do that. Uh, look up your shingles manufacturer's recommendations. There's typically a cleaner you can get. You can either go up if you're comfortable up there, use safety equipment tank sprayer just apply it then it gets rinsed some companies use the high pressure trucks and equipment and pressure wash it up onto your roof and then let it just kind of soak it follow the directions and then rinse it down again do not pressure wash your roof you will lift the granules off don't do that don't be that guy it won't really hurt anything it just looks bad and uh, that out there is a mildewy growth that's actual thick buildup moss you can see some of it like right here not that big a deal it's unsightly i know it doesn't really hurt anything have you ever wondered like driving down a country road or a city road and you just happen to look up at roofs or do this next time you drive down one and it's maybe a little dewy out or they've got a gutter that runs down onto another lower section those areas that protrude or that, that accumulate little bits of moisture and trickle it down on the roof those are where you're going to see those dark streaks forming it looks like it's just discolored staining whereas maybe say there was a pipe right there and the water diverts around it and the chemicals in the steel or the metal or whatever material it is wash down it's clean right there i'll try to throw a photo up of this i'm sure i can find some in my archive stuff it's just that blue green algae that's it again conditions let me just show you on this side here so that's the south facing side pretty clear doesn't have any now we're gonna go just on the opposing side of this look how dark this is there's a lot more of that mildewy mossy crap there's all the blue green algae or if you want to sound cool glia caps and magma and right here big difference between those night and day you can see get some down here too but where the sun beats down on it, not so much. It's not a problem to have on your roof. I will advise you this though, I have heard. It's gonna be windy, can you hear me? I need my dead cat. I had to come over here because it's a little windy on the camera. So I will advise you of this. I have seen and talked to customers where an insurance company, their provider drove by, saw the roof, said it looked really bad and they were gonna drop their policy unless they got a new roof put on. One, it doesn't really need it, and two, the downside is they typically say you got like a week or two or a month. If you want a good quality contractor that's going to do good and take care of you, they're probably backed up, and you're going to go without insurance. So don't fall victim to that. If your roof looks bad, just nip it in the ass, spray it down with the cleaner that the manufacturer of your shingle says, and you're done. That simple. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, smash the shit out of it, push it a bunch of times as long as you finish on an odd number so it stays blue when you're done. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.